right, so we put multi-species mixes together when we go after like an early crop, like a pea, sweet corn, winter wheat, spring wheat, anything like that. What we've seen in these multi-species mixes is we put down 8, 10, 12 species. We'll see areas where maybe the brassicas are dominating, the grasses aren't, or the clovers are working well. Maybe the other ones aren't working as well, or it's all working. So what happens in those areas, we've got to figure out, is it nutrient deficient? Is there something else going on? Is there compaction areas there that are stronger? But it gives us, at least the soil gets covered over the whole farm where we don't have bare spots. If we had single species, we could end up with bare spots out there, and that's something we don't want to have. The other part is, is when they overwinter. Like a radish is a very liquidy tuber, so when it doesn't overwinter and it breaks down in the spring, it releases that nutrient very early. Where like a harder tuber, like a turnip or a kale or a rape seed root, it takes longer for it to release back into the environment. So that way we don't have that leaving before the cash crop takes it up. If we do use a lot of radish, we need to put like an overwintering grass in with it so it scavenges that up so that the corn crop or whatever crop you're putting behind it can utilize that, that nutrients that's being released. We don't want to lose it. We don't want to scavenge it in the fall and lose it in the spring. That's counterproductive what we're trying to accomplish here.